Now, I want to talk today about our origin. Where is our origin? What is our origin? How do we discover our origin? How do we experience our origin? How do we go back to our origin? Well, Genesis 1.1 is a good place to start. In the beginning, God. So the origin is a perfect relationship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God. That is the origin. And the origin is a relationship. So love and joy and peace, perfectly expressed in the origin, in the relationship, that transform my life, giving me experience, understanding, and the outworking of unconditional love in a way that I could never have dreamed possible because I found it in that relationship. I discovered that origin. I discovered who I was in that origin. And that revelation and that truth began to renew my mind and change what I believed and what I experienced reaffirmed what God was beginning to show me. This is an excerpt from Mike's current teaching series, Restoring First Love. Get the full-length videos every month only at eg.freedomark.org slash first dash love. Now, we know Jesus was in the beginning, One John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Now, we know this is talking about Jesus. In the Mirror Bible, it says... To go back to the very beginning is to find the word already present there, face to face with God. The word is I am. God's eloquence echoes and concludes in him the word he calls God. So it's this face to face relationship which was in the beginning. And we each had that face to face relationship in the beginning. And God wants us to rediscover that face-to-face -face relationship in the present. So the origin, because in the beginning was the word, came to dwell amongst us. The word became flesh and dwell amongst us so that he could dwell in us. Jesus was not content to come and dwell amongst people. He came to be in people, to make people a dwelling place for his presence. So Jesus came to restore our origin, the original relationship, so we would be able to experience family again, because we were part of family, the family of God. God is family. Jesus is in all mankind seeking to reveal to us the Father's love for us as his children. And that is Jesus's mission is to help us reconnect to our origin relationship in him, in the Father, and in us. So the Father wants to restore our face-to-face -face relationship. The deception of separation needs to be brought into the light so we can have our minds renewed to the truth of inclusion. All mankind is resurrected and included in Jesus because of what he has done. That is... The truth that is the statement of truth acts 3 19 um, is a is a bible verse which i've spent a lot of time uh, meditating in engaging with experiencing encountering god in asking lots of questions about over the last four or five years hence writing a book on yeah. restoration um, is coming out of these verses and it says in verse 19 therefore repent and return so again don't think repent as be sorry but to agree with god and return what are you returning to now in a sense this could be seen as speaking to the jewish people who needed to turn away from following their own way and return to what God had invited them to be participating in in the beginning, which was a relationship. So to agree with God and to come back, why? What do we come back to? So it goes on, so that the sins may be wiped away. And again, the is a noun. This is a noun. The sin is the lost identity will be wiped away. So if we change our mind 
as God reveals to us the truth and we turn away from the way we have been thinking and the way we've been living and return to relationship, God is able to wipe away our lost identity in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. And it's the presence of the Lord, not the coming of the Lord, as it says in different versions, so that and that he may send Jesus the Christ appointed for you. Now, some people are still looking for Jesus to come. Um, and it talks about that he must stay in heaven until the times of the restoration of all things, which is the next verse. But I want to focus on what we experience in the presence of God coming back to face to face intimacy. What do we experience? Times of refreshing. Now, as with all renewal, restoration, refreshing, it comes from the presence of the Lord. It doesn't come through our works. It doesn't come through something we do. It comes from his presence. And the word refreshing in Greek, anapsychis, properly, it says, now, wherever you see properly in a concordance, or whether you, this was from Strong's concordance, when it says properly, it means properly, this is what it really means. Then it usually says, well, this is what we saying it means, but actually properly is the true meaning. So properly, breathe easily again. So refreshing is breathing easily again. Well, when did we breathe easily? So we can go back again and breathe easily. Hence, refreshing, cooling, reviving with fresh air, a recovery of breath, a refreshing. God's presence restores us to our true origin where we can breathe easily again, where we're not struggling to breathe air but we breathe life the life of god that is his original intention genesis 2 7 says the lord god formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being now it's interesting that god said and everything else was created but god made man out of the dust of the ground why and whatever that dust was, and people have different views of what dust was, and some people are saying, well, it's gold dust and other things. My view is that it was so we would be connected to creation for which we were being made as sons of God. And the mandate of sonship was to bring, again, life to creation. And so God made us from the dust of the ground to have that connection. And there have been times in my life where I have reconnected to creation and the particles of creation in a way which has made me um, embrace my sonship more and more and realize that creation is waiting for the revealing of the sons of God. And God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. And we need to rediscover the breath of life, to breathe easily again, because mankind has not been breathing easily, because we've been not breathing from the right source of life. So we can be a living being, alive with abundant life. And obviously, that is what God did in the beginning. And then Jesus comes, and on the day of resurrection, that he promised that they would know that he was in them and they were in him and were in the father. John 20, 22, it says he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit, which he had promised. Now, remember, he said, whoever is thirsty, come to me and drink and you will have rivers of living water flowing from your innermost being. That is of the spirit which they were yet to receive. Now they would receive the spirit. Now they had the breath of life in them. Now they could live again, not being separated, not having the illusion of separation, not being guilty or condemned because they've been living a life following their own breath, their own source, if you like. And that's what following the tree of good and evil does. It means you're drawing from your own source and breathing easily is not possible when you breathe from your own source 
man became a living being the whole of mankind was resurrected and became alive again born from above so that they could breathe easily again and they have life in them the spirit of life is in them so this restored relationship this restored identity and the conditions for face-to-face -face refreshing come from the presence of the lord everything comes from relationship of intimacy you're not going to get it any other way you need to be face to face for that breath of life so you're continually breathing from the breath that's coming from his face that true spirit we're not breathing separated from him a long way away we need to be face to face for that refreshing presence of the lord that is why intimacy is so important. That is why we need to be restored back to our origin where we were face to face. It's a restored walking relationship with the Father. That is where refreshing comes from, where we're close. It's a restoration of what Adam had in the beginning on earth. But also there's more to it than that to be restored in that we go beyond what Adam had in the beginning to what Adam had in the beginning. Because on earth was not Adam's beginning. Now, we could say that, well, God made him out of the dust and breathed into him. Well, he breathed into him what he already was. And that is for all of us what happens when we come into being, when each of us and our spirit came into the physical cells that formed and our soul formed, the spirit came in. And there is a a flash of light that happens at that moment when life really forms and god wants us to be restored to where we were before that flash of light so the light that we carried before we even came into this realm is restored and that we know who we really are so jesus is not a window showing us who we can become He's a mirror showing us who we already are. Again, already are. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.